Hey, what's going on out there? I would like to welcome every single one of you to water your soil. So before I get into the video, if you're new over here, I have two rules on this channel. The first rule is for you to always use your own discretion when it comes to credit cards and credit scores. The second rule, the second rule is for you to always verify everything that you learn, whether it's on this channel, another channel or anywhere. Verifying information that should be something that everyone takes part in, especially when you're trying to learn something new. So getting into the video, this is going to be about some new credit card news. And I have a little twisted opinion on this. And when I state my opinion, People are going to probably be like, huh? Because normally, you know, I'm speaking against the banks. I don't think that the banks are on our side for the most part. But in this case, in this article that I'm going to talk about in this video, the banks are kind of on the side of the people who are using their credit cards correctly. And what I mean by correctly, I mean those who pay in time, those who pay in for those who are not necessarily late when it comes to their credit card bills. So we're gonna get into the video. About a month ago, I made a video and it was on an article that was stating that the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, they recently implemented a rule that credit card companies have to cap their late fees at $8. And in that video, I express how that will have a negative impact on the back end towards those who are responsible and those who do pay their credit card bills on time. And that rule was supposed to go into effect on May 14th, 2024. Well, recently, a federal court judge paused it, so it's not going to be implemented like it was supposed to be. And what the credit card industry is stating is basically what I was telling you all earlier in this video, where if you are someone who pays your bill on time, you don't carry over balances, you know, you get your rewards out of the card, but you always make sure that you are paying on time and you're never late. So this rule wasn't going to have an impact on you in a positive way. I know some people may have thought it would like, hey, they're capping late fees at eight dollars, but let's be honest if you're not normally late when it comes to paying your credit card bills you're probably not going to be affected by that eight dollar cap you know it's probably not going to help you out and as i stated in the previous video that i did on it it's actually going to hurt people on the back end and the bank industry is agreeing they know they were going to get their money one way or another and i always try to tell people that's why i really don't understand why people don't believe when I say, yeah, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, they might seem like they're working in your favor and they're going to get these banks to work in your favor and do things for you. It's basically the type of game that we have to play in order to get what we want out of it, but we have to still play their game. And if you think they're going to help you out with shortcuts and they're not going to get their money on the back end, you're sadly mistaken. And that's what's going on right now. And I honestly feel that's going on a lot in society. But that's a whole nother topic where people want to cheat the game, whatever game it may be, and get things to work for them. But there are rules in place for a reason. And this $8 cap on late fees is not going to help the majority of people who are paying on time, who are doing things the right way with their credit card. Now, if you're someone who's always late when it comes to paying your credit card bill, this is one of the best things for you. You're like, hey, an $8 late fee and it's capped. They can't charge me more than $8 for a late fee. This is great. And I'm sure you're all ecstatic, but you're also going to get hit on the back end, just like the people who do pay their bill on time, because you can expect more fees to go up. You can expect it to affect the benefits and things like that. So it's almost give and take. And we pretty much had a mentality oftentimes of, hey, we're going to get everything to work in our favor and we don't have to give up anything. And honestly, it doesn't work like that. Life often doesn't work like that. These rules are in place for a reason. Honestly, we, the consumer who are responsible with our credit cards, we actually want more out of these credit cards. We don't want less. But they said that this ruling was going to save American families $10 billion. And that's probably true. But that highlights another problem that people are not talking about often. And I love to talk about here on this channel where people are not being responsible with credit cards. They're either using a credit card and they don't have the fund or the money to pay off what they spend so not only are they paying off their balance they're also late and that's a telltale sign that you shouldn't be using a credit card and we like to believe that yes credit cards are for everyone i do i do believe that credit cards are for everyone however everyone is not in the position to have a credit card now to some of you that may not make any sense you're probably like well how could you say 
credit cards are for everyone, but everyone should not have one. What I mean by credit cards are for everyone is that once in a lifetime, everyone will have the ability to sign up and at least get approved for at least one credit card. Everyone. Now, whether or not they throw away that ability or they damage it by messing up their credit report and their credit score or whatever it may be, everyone at least has the opportunity at least once. So that's what I mean by that. And as far as everyone not being in the position to have a credit card, I think that's self-explanatory with these videos that I'm making as far as people not being able to manage their credit cards and they're being late with paying their credit cards. So they're excited about late fees being capped at $8. I know it's a touchy subject, a lot of people, they don't want to hear it. You know, people get mad at me. They come by here and they're like, oh, why are you focused on the negative part of credit cards? It's because, hey, we have all of the fun parts of credit cards where we talk about the rewards and the benefits and the great ways to get points and doing this and that. But it's important to talk about the other half. And the other half is the ugly half. It's people being late. It's credit card debt being more than $1 trillion. No matter how you want to spin it, if you want to say, hey, the country thrives on debt, that's cool. But as I always state on this channel, I'm concerned with credit scores and having high debt and not paying your bills on time affects your credit score. Other people, they may not be concerned with credit scores, but I am. And I would be a hypocrite if I only tell people about the great benefits of credit cards and I don't tell them about the negative parts of it where it can affect and impact your credit score in a negative way. So I love bringing these articles to the forefront and this type of news to the forefront. I'm going to continue to do so. The link to the full article is in the bio so you can read it yourself. It's not a long read, but educate yourself on these things. It's important to know what's going on because this impacts everyone, even those who are normally not late with their credit card payments. Because like I stated previously, it's always going to be an impact on the back end when it comes to these banks. No one is getting over on these banks. Please believe that. But anyways, if you're new over here, this is Water Your Soil. If you're feeling the vibe, be sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on all notifications. That way you don't miss a future video because I post often. That's clicking on the bell and clicking on all. Also, this goes to every single one of you, my subscribers included. Be sure to hit the like button. It literally takes seconds. Hit the like button. That's your way of supporting this video. It also supports this channel. Let's the algorithm know that you support this channel. I appreciate every single one of you for stopping by. This is Water Your Soil, and I'm out. Wait, 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 wait. Before you leave, be sure to check out the description box below. That way you can have all the credit resources from Water Your Soil. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button as well, all right? In the description box below, I always tell people, check out the description box below for extra resources from Water Your Soil. Part of the description box also showcases my book that I have. I have a book, it's been out for a while now, it's been out for years, it's titled, strategies to master credit the book is available it's on amazon it's on barnes and noble most online bookstores have the book and the book is basically about how fico credit scoring works once you understand how fico credit scoring works you're pretty much on your way to helping yourself build develop and maintain a good credit score so check the book out whenever you get a chance